Question 10. Double blind techniques should be used whenever possible in scientific experiments. They help prevent the misinterpretations that often arise due to expectations and opinions that scientists already hold. And clearly, scientists should be extremely diligent in trying to avoid such misinterpretations. So, argument of facts. This is an argument. What is the conclusion? What is the main point that this author is trying to convey in this passage? And it is clearly the first sentence that double blind techniques should be used whenever possible in scientific experiments. And how do we know that? Well, they help prevent misinterpretations that often arise due to expectations and opinions that scientists already hold. And clearly, scientists should be extremely diligent in trying to avoid such misinterpretations. So those are our premises. And now moving to the question stem, which one of the following most accurately expresses the main conclusion of the argument? So another main point question. Looking for an answer choice that not only must be true, but also must be the main point. Again, we've identified that the conclusion is the first sentence. Double blind techniques should be used whenever possible in scientific experiments. So let's find an answer choice that is a direct restatement of that first sentence. Let's take a look at A. Scientists' objectivity may be impeded by interpreting experimental evidence on the basis of expectations and opinions that they already hold. And you notice that A is clearly implied by the passage, but it is definitely not the main point. So A would be eliminated. B, it is advisable for scientists to use double-blind techniques in as high a proportion of their experiments as they can. And lo and behold, B here is a direct restatement of the first sentence that double-blind techniques should be used whenever possible in scientific experiments. And you notice, in as high a proportion of their experiments as they can, used whenever possible, exact same idea, direct restatement, so B would be the correct answer. But again, just making sure here, checking C, scientists sometimes neglect to adequately consider the risk of misinterpreting evidence on the basis of prior expectations and opinions. And you notice that that is not necessarily true, not mentioned in our passage. So clearly not the main point. C would be eliminated, bringing me to D. Whenever possible, scientists should refrain from interpreting evidence on the basis of previously formed expectations and convictions. And that is obviously true from the last sentence, where it says scientists should be extremely diligent in trying to avoid such misinterpretations. So for whenever possible, scientists should refrain from interpreting evidence on the basis of previously formed expectations and convictions. But again, not the main point. So D is out. And then E, double-blind experimental techniques are often an effective way of ensuring scientific objectivity. And again, that is true, but not the main point. So E would be eliminated.